Hi guys, today I'm going to briefly um, give you some quick uh, overviews of the Revlon Diamond Lust eyeshadows. I picked up three colors at Target today. They actually come in five different shades, but they only had three left. So the three that I picked up were Night Sky, Plum Galaxy, and Starry Pink. And the concept for these, they look like that. They come in a just a black square little container. Look like that. You open them up. Come with a little foam eyeshadow applicator. And these are, it's not a shimmer. It's more of an almost in between a shimmer and a glitter. So I first was really attracted to Night Sky. I love really dramatic eye looks at night or when I'm going out really bold so this is supposed to be kind of like a black it's the darkest shade they had and it has so many different colors in it it has like a dark green um, some blues and the flecks of shimmer or glitter or whatever you want to call it in there it's just really pretty so that was the first one I knew I had to have um, they also had like a deep aqua which was called like Neptune I think and then they had a silver um, and those two were the shades that were already out but these were the ones I was drawn to more so. Then the other one was Plum Galaxy. Which is kind of like a reddish purple. It's also really pretty. And then the third one I picked up was Starry Pink, like I said. It's just a really pretty frosty pink. And I don't... I'm not attracted to shimmery eyeshadows, but I think the fact that it was extremely sparkly and shimmery, I just... I could really see it just going across the whole lid at nighttime or something. I just wanted to pick them up. They were on sale uh, for $5.49, something like that, at Target. So they were a little bit on sale. And then also today I picked up another Revlon Color State Eyeshadow Quad in Adventurous. And I already tried, this, this one was precocious, and I loved it. It's a little bit dirty because I've been using it. But um, these stay on really well. They're supposed to last 16 hours, I think, and not crease. And they've been doing great. They come with a little guide on the back on, you know, a couple of uh, different ways to wear it. This one, Adventurous, like I said, comes with a matte brown, a really dark matte brown, kind of like a coppery brown with a little bit of shimmer. Not really shimmer, but like a satin finish. And then a, a shimmery, satiny type, um, like an olive green, which is really pretty. And then kind of a matte highlight shade, like an off-white, which was really pretty. I was really drawn to these two shades, the kind of satiny olive and then the satiny copper. And then it's always good to have a good matte brown. So these were the two I was really looking at. But, um, yeah, so I picked that up. And I've swatched this one here for you. It's in the bottom row here. So this is that white the copper, the matte brown, and then the olive. And the top row was the other color stay quad that I have in Precocious. So this is that kind of silver. And it's a kind of a pink, which almost comes up like a skin tone, so I know it's hard to see. And then kind of a burgundy kind of wine color, and then that charcoal gray. And I think they work really well together, obviously, because they're coordinated to wear together, but they just are really, really pigmented. I don't see any creasing things like that. And then going back to the Diamond Lush Shadows, I did swatch those as well. They're super shimmery. You're going to get a lot, a lot of fallout. So that kind of stinks, but I'm zoom in on those for you. Pick up a little bit better light. So they're really pretty. Um, I see them being great nighttime looks. But you're definitely going to need to wear an eye base or something like that with them because of the amount of fallout. You just really want to lock it in place. But I haven't tried them out. These are just the first time I'm even seeing the color on any kind of skin. So um, hopefully I will wear them sometime soon. It's not really a daytime eyeshadow. So maybe this weekend or something if I go out I'll try them out and I'll let you guys know how I like them and maybe do a tutorial with them. So anyway I will keep you posted. So thank you for stopping by.